add light to any kid's space with this fun DIY floor lamp, complete with a personalized lampshade. It's easy to build and makes a crafty project to create with your kids over the weekend. Hi guys, I'm Rosa, I'm your DIY carpentry expert, and this is my daughter Melania. Melania! And what I love to do is teach parents and kids how to come together and make really great projects. First things first, we're gonna need our one by two lumber cut to the following sizes. I pre-cut all our wood, and I left one piece because I really want to show you how to do a miter cut. Really? How generous. Thank you. First, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this at 25 inches from long point to long point. Got you. Here you go. And then now we're going to cut it yeah. using our miter. It's closed because we're not using it yet. And you always want to keep a not use saw in its safest position, which is closed and locked. So we're going to do 45 degrees. Whoa. You see? 45 degrees. So now it's gonna cut everything on that angle just like that. You see the way your blade is going? Yeah. And then close it. Before we begin, make sure you're wearing your safety glasses to protect those eyes. There we go. And now we have our angle cut. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. You're gonna do the other side, okay? Got it. Are you paying attention where your hands are? That's first. Yep. You ready? Good job. Let's make a lamp post. Now we're gonna get to some glue in up in here. So we're taking our two 62 inch pieces, adding some glue, and then we can just marry them. Do you would take you would to be husband and wife? Sure do. And clamping them together. How does this thing work? <laughs> this little piece right here is the release. Gotcha. Push that to open and close it. But once you get close, you can use this little trigger. Mm. Like that. This is what we call a glue up. So we're gonna set it aside and let it dry. All right, let's build the base. To attach our pieces, we're using wood glue and two inch wood screws. We're using self-tapping screws, but if you're using regular wood screws, I would suggest pre-drilling first to avoid any splitting of your wood boards. So now that we have our base built out, we're gonna sand it down with some 220 sandpaper so that we don't get any splinters or anything like that. So now we wanna hide those screw holes, and to do that, we're gonna use a little bit of wood filler. Ooh, that one was, ooh, like butter, baby. Why is it so goopy? What are we gonna do? We can't it looks just ugly. leave it like that. Yep, as soon as this dries, we're gonna just sand it out, and then everything is gonna look nice and uniform. You're not gonna see any holes, any spaces, anything. It's gonna be like magic, voila. Let's get shady. So now we're gonna take this plain old lampshade and give it some pizzazz. We're gonna take some fabric. You wanna use a fabric that is 100% cotton. Anything that's kind of like spandex or stretchy is not gonna translate well onto your lampshade. First, we're taking our lampshade, adding podge, and draping the fabric around the entire drum in sections. Stretch it and put some pressure, lay this back, and keep gluing. Come help me do this. I love this craft because you get to take a really boring lampshade and you get to make it amazing. Once the fabric is fully around the lampshade, we're gonna cut the excess off, leaving about a half of inch on both sides. Ah, okay. We're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna put some glue and roll it under. All right, let's get to the other side and do the same thing. Now we need to put it aside. Nope, we got one more glue step. One more glue step. Just gonna put some podge on top to seal off the fabric covering. Now we take our new pizzazzy lampshade, set it aside, and let it dry. So now our wood filler is all dried up, and let's sand it to get all this like extra gunky stuff away. So you wanna sand it until it's like, ow. Oh. Sand like a, like a sander, girl. Like go round and round, circular, until everything is like nice and flush and even. Now this is all done, let's attach the lamp post to the base. To attach this, we're gonna use some wood glue and two screws. Safety glasses. Uh-huh. Good job. We're gonna bring in that 25 inch one by two that we cut at the mitered ends, and we're gonna secure it using our brad nailer and one and a half inch brad nails. If you don't have a brad nailer, you can just use a regular hammer and nails to get this in, okay? Yes. Cool, all right, let's go. I think it's the other side. 
No, you were right the first time. Sorry. I sorry, knew sorry, I was sorry. right. I knew I... I know you were right. You were right. Sorry. There you go. The lamp is going to hang from this, right? In order to get it to hang from this, we need to put this hook into the wood. Looks like a question mark. We need this 1 16th drill bit. Now we need to attach this to the top. Let's go fishing. Caught a fish. We're going to give it about three inches of overhang in the back side, just for a little added balance and support of the lampshade, OK? So I'm going to measure in and mark. Three inches. Mm -hmm. Got it? Yeah. The lampshade is probably dry about now, so I'll go and grab it. Up. Okay, go grab it. Up top. Up. Dab on them. Not only does this DIY floor lamp add personality to any space, it's got color, personal flair, and function for your kid's space. What a bright idea.